hey, that's the five-star Shangri-La, I think, that's opening up in 2012. So we definitely want to check that out. But there's something else. We are uh, we're getting close to tax time, and we get a lot of questions about uh, real estate investing and creating cash flow and about uh, holding on properties, buy and hold strategies, flipping, you know, all these different kind of strategies with real estate investing. And we occasionally, not always, we occasionally get questions about uh, taxes. And we think it's one of the most overlooked things with real estate investing. So this year when you're doing your taxes, if you hold property personally, make sure you're getting good tax advice from an accountant who understands real estate because there's a ton of tax advantages to owning real estate that many accountants aren't aware of. So really interview a couple of you, if you have one now that you don't think you're getting good advice from. And you know, sometimes when people come to us and they'll say, hey, do I really have to pay tax in Canada if I own real estate? Are there ways around it? And what we always say is, look, in, if you're making money in Canada, yes, you have to pay tax. You know, we have things like sidewalks and curbs and sewers and they cost money, right? So we have to pay tax in Canada. But there are ways to kind of shelter yourself from some taxes um, in, a, in a completely legal way. And there's different ways to use corporations, for example. And there's things you should know about using corporations with real estate. And you need a good accountant to explain those things to you. So if you're really if investing in real estate is a serious business for yourself, take the time to understand the tax implications personally and get a good account who understands it and if you're kind of moving up to the world of using corporations and holding companies to use your real estate spend the money to get a good accountant who understands those things it's taken Nick and I years to kind of get all these things rolling but once you have it it is one of the best advantages of, of real estate investing is some of the things you can do with taxes when done properly so this year take the time to figure it out it's one of the most overlooked things with real estate investing but yet one of the most powerful things so that's it for now until next time your life your terms